the subscribing as well so previously what we have deal is we have dealt with how we can read all the lines from the csv file and how we using you know read all and also we have dealt with how we can read one at a time in this video i am going to show you the csv iterator which is again another way of reading any csv file guys so let's get into the video here so uh, if you see here uh, i have got a class called csv iterator demo with a main method so uh, here as i said we are using the csv iterator concept so let's define that object csv iterator as csv it like this and new csv iterator so we are iterating over the csv file how first you need to read the csv file using new csv reader from where from our file reader so new file reader and you need to point the location of your csv file in my case i am using this csv file guys which is a 924 KB. So, so we have defined our CSV iterator here. Let's import the things CSV reader, CSV iterator, and the file reader. Then let's keep this entire thing in you know try catcher throws because we are dealing with a file so in case of file not found exception we can get that and we are reading so uh, input output exception we might get that also csv validation exception we get okay then let's use this csv it you know uh, csv iterator object how uh, so it is going to let me open the csv file here so it is going to read line by line guys so in order to have this line by line one line at a time inside this in order to have one line at a time what we need to do we need to use a iterator and inside this line it is having the uh, so many columns right so that means i am going to have the string away for each and every line here okay something like lines i will take now this lines i am going to use here csv it dot you know uh if you just type this and you get this next method okay and this part you are going to iterate using the while loop because you don't exactly know how many you know uh, number of lines is there so we are using the we are simply using uh, while loop in this case okay so until my lines become null i am going to iterate so once i got this uh, line single line i have the set of columns in a row like this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, indexes right so how to do that either you can do something like sys out and you can give index manually like this 0 and uh, 1 or else what you can do is you iterate again in each row to the number of columns length then you 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 know you display them so for difficulty purpose i am using this the bigger one this is using the iteration if you want easy method you can simply go with the indexes up to you again so lines dot length and i plus plus okay so simply what you can do lines of i you can display with sysout lines of i you can display so what i'll do is i'll put only print here and once my every line completed i'm going to i know uh, take a single line using printed line okay 
if I execute this, I am going to use, I am going to read this entire CSV file. Okay. I think it is cannot find in a specified path, it seems. Okay. I need to give the entire file. This is CSV, right? So let me execute this. Now you could see it is actually a very, very big file, guys. So it takes a lot of time. So this is how we can use csv iterator guys so i hope this video is informative for you guys and if you have found it useful what you need to do you need to like this video and do watch other videos on this same channel guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik signing off